When you hear the word cancer, you might think it's a disease that affects older people. But now, it's not just them who need to worry. More and more young people are getting cancer. In less than 30 years, cancer cases in people under 50 years old increased sharply by 79%. That's almost double. What's even more puzzling for scientists is that people under 50 are the only age group experiencing a rise in cancer cases, even though the population of this group is actually decreasing. What is going on? Okay, let's take a look at colon cancer. In the late 90s in the US, it was the fourth leading cause of cancer death in people under 50. Now it's ranked higher, colon cancer is the leading cause of cancer death for men under 50 and the second leading cause for women in the same age group. But it gets crazier. In the USA, people born in the 90s have twice the risk of developing colon cancer compared to those born in the 50s. For rectal cancer, the risk is even four times higher. Breast cancer is just as worrying. In 2019, it became the type of cancer with the highest cases and death rates among young people. In the past, breast cancer was more common in older women. So why is this happening? What's the problem with young people and cancer? One factor is the advanced technology for detecting cancer and more people undergoing health checkups. In the past, many cancer cases might have gone undetected, and the number of cancer cases itself has increased, along with an increasingly unhealthy lifestyle. From obesity to excessive alcohol consumption to lack of exercise, but the problem is the rise in cancer cases isn't just happening to a few people. It's happening to an entire generation worldwide, even to people who live healthy lives. Scientists call this the birth cohort effect, in other words, if you're born after 1990, you have a higher risk of developing cancer. This makes experts think that there must be something new that has emerged or drastically changed since the mid 20th century. Something that affects almost everyone in the world, especially those born after the 90s. Maybe there's something we're exposed to from the womb, as babies, or during childhood, that makes us more prone to cancer as adults. Several theories are emerging. Some say it's because of the increasing amount of processed food. Others blame the worsening environmental pollution or the higher use of plastics and chemicals in food. Some even suspect changes in our sleep patterns due to night lights and gadgets. Genetic factors might also play a role. There are studies showing that genetically, young people might be more vulnerable to environmental factors that cause cancer. But the effects of various exposures aren't immediately visible. It takes decades to see the impact. It's like a time bomb set when we're born and it only explodes when we're adults. Okay, now we get to the most important part. What can we do? In the US, health agencies have started lowering the recommended age for cancer screenings. It used to be 50 years, now it's 45. But what can we do to actually prevent ourselves from getting cancer? Well, the thing is, cancer is caused by genetic mutations in our cells. Cells become malignant. To make it simple, imagine a normal cell is like a car. Then, genetic mutations can cause damage to the car's brake or gas system. Actually, our body has a repair shop that can fix this damage. But sometimes the damage is too much or the repair shop is busy. The car then runs recklessly, speeding, crashing everywhere, causing chaos. That's the cancer cell, doing various things that increase cancer risk, like eating junk food, smoking, drinking alcohol, staying up late, can damage the repair shop further or make the car so broken it can't be fixed. This means we're at a higher risk of developing cancer. So yeah, maybe after reading this, grab those running shoes you haven't touched in a while and exercise. Cut off the delicious junk food for something healthier. And most importantly, stop pulling all-nighters every day. The TikToks won't miss you.